Hello, and welcome to another newsletter from Construction Programs and Results. I'm Michael Stone, and I will be sharing our newsletter with you. I have been busy the last six weeks or so making Christmas gifts for family and friends in my shop. I started early, as my shop has little insulation, and it does get cold up there when the winter rains and snow show up. However, I make enough sawdust and chips building my projects to aid in keeping a good fire going in my wood stove. Such a deal. Thanksgiving will be here in another week. Devin and I would like to wish each of you a great day with family, good food, maybe a football game or two, and if you're traveling, safe travels. Thanksgiving is the start of my favorite time of year. That happens as one gets older. I have friends my age that I meet with every week for coffee. And they all say the same thing. The holidays are all about family. Please enjoy yours. Now, our newsletter. Staying focused. We survived another presidential election. Depending on how involved you got, it lasted between three months or three years, but it's finally behind us. If you're team one, you're a happy camper. Hopefully, good things are coming your way, at least according to the politicians. If your team lost, you're either indifferent or completely depressed, regardless of how your team did. As a business owner, you need to keep one thing in mind. You have a business to run and a family to take care of. So let's take a minute and review your mindset. I'm a firm believer that voting is important and we need to be intelligent, thoughtful voters. But getting overly excited or incredibly depressed over an election is a sign that you're distracted from what matters most. Becoming emotionally involved in something you can't control. It takes your focus away from what you can control, your business. Running a business, especially a construction-related business, requires focus. It's good to feel involved in the elections and to care about what happens to our country. It's not good to make it the focus of your life. Okay, Grandpa Michael, where should my focus be? Your family and your business. For your business, you need a long-term plan broken into doable pieces that can be done a little each day to keep you, your employees, and your company on the path to making a good profit. I heard recently from a contractor who was told he should spend more time working on jobs. A specialty contractor told him he wouldn't make any money dressed as he was, which was in shirt and slacks and shine shoes, when he stopped to check on a job. If you've read our book, Markup and Profit Revisited, you know otherwise. Here is the thing that these contractors are missing, and this is especially important for new contractors to realize. When you're working on the jobs, you can only work on one or two jobs at a time, and you'll only see the profit from those one or two jobs. Hopefully, you'll be paying yourself an hourly wage for your time working on those jobs, although most don't. An hourly wage for working on jobs is different from paying yourself a fixed salary for owning and running the company. These are two different issues. When you're working on jobs, you're taking time away from promoting and selling future jobs. Your focus is getting that job built, but not planning or working on the future. You aren't running your business. You're an employee at your own company. Instead, if you focus on being the business owner, manage your employees or subs, and selling to your potential, you can have anywhere from four to a dozen jobs running at the same time, and you'll make a profit from each one of those jobs. Which scenario is more profitable? Owning and running the company is by far the best way to go. I understand that some don't want the added stress or workload of running multiple jobs at one time, or you really prefer having your hands in the work. That's fine. It's a lifestyle choice as long as you realize that you're foregoing profitability for smaller business. This is the best time of year to review, to review where you and your business are at and where you want to go. Set aside the distractions and focus on your business. We're about to wrap up the year and head into a new one. You want to be ready. We have two papers on our website on year-end planning and online class availability. 
We have a link to them in the comments below. These papers and the class take you step by step through the process of reviewing this year and making plans for next. This is work. It requires time, energy, focus, and input from those around you. And it's not easy. Done right, you can't do it in a few days. You work on it a little at a time while you think it through what's worked well and what hasn't. Thinking and review takes time. If you want to make your plans a reality, you must figure out where you have been and why. You can then make plans, set goals, and know you have a good map to reach those goals. Every year we hear from contractors who meet or exceed their goals by following by the following fall. They were able to do that because they made a plan for their business and then followed that plan to succeed. Their success wasn't a coincidence. It was a real result of their hard work. We'd love to hear stories of success from all of you next year. Actions have consequences. Inactions has consequences as well. Go read the papers or watch the class and do the work and let us know how it goes. Thanks again for watching and may the prophets be with you.